All right, so uh, this, as you see on the title, this is about the Ghost Gunner, which is a uh, small bench top uh, CNC, basically it's a CNC router or CNC mill that you can purchase from Defense Distributed. And uh, they, you can put in an 80% AR-10, AR-15, or 1911 lower frame, and it will machine it out for you. Granted, you'll, you'll still have to code it and you know, get it anodized or whatever, but uh, it does the machining for you. Uh, there, there's some issues. Some people were experiencing issues with a bushing that goes right here. This is on an AR-15 lower, and there's a bushing that goes right here, and it runs a, a screw that goes through. And this has to be a non-conductive bushing because the Ghost Gunner uses a probe that sends a, a, a I think it's like five millivolt or uh, five volt probe through the frame as it touches off to locate itself, and so it can't be grounded out on uh, you know through that that piece of hardware that goes in there. But it needs to be secure. So I've come up with a this is a replacement bushing. My bushing is much much tougher than the 3D printed bushing that comes with it, and. Uh, it's available now. This is one here, and uh, it just it, it goes in very very simple. Now I've also something that I'd like to find out as I don't actually have a Ghost Gunner machine, and so uh, I've also machined uh, a couple of pieces uh, with the proper sized center hole, center hole, and so. This is a very, very tight fit. I'm not going to push it down through there uh, right now. But the way this is set up is this will go in there and allow it, it completely insulates to where it can't move. It centers everything very tightly. Um, and so I wanted to know if any of you guys that are running this, and I'll probably, the production one probably won't be this tight, um, but any of you guys that are actually running the Ghost Gunner, I would like to know. If you think this is necessary, uh, is is this just a a necessary precaution that I'm that I'm doing here, or is it something that you can see? As you see that that's pretty tight in there. Is that something that you see as an advantage having that in there? Of course, it'd be flush down with it. Uh, or do you think that running this piece in there? Granted, it will be easier to install. You won't have to hammer it in. But do you think that this is a waste of time and effort? Or do you think this is a good idea? Uh, let me know what you guys think. I, I need to find out if that's something that I should look into producing or not. Uh, either way, if you would like to purchase a bushing or you'd like to respond, you can uh, email me. The email address will be listed here. Uh, you'll see it here in a second. Email me. Uh, you can find me on Facebook. But uh, email is the easiest way to go about it, and uh, I'll get some bushings out to you if you need them. Uh, this bushing should be a one-time use you, you, or a, a one-time deal. You should not have to purchase multiple bushings. Uh, if my bushing tears up on you, I will send you another one. Uh, and so, uh, give me some feedback. And if anybody's interested in getting one of these, uh, drop me an email.